Useful phrases in everyday communication and grammar in use. How do you adapt in the face of changes? Continual challenges might be an opportunity to adapt. A difficult position. Avoid unnecessary risks. Being realistic about time and risk is critical but not always best. It can be a bit of a tightrope. To walk a tightrope, used to describe something that is challenging and a tricky balancing act. It conjures the image of a circus participant walking across a long narrow line with a significant drop beneath. We refer to concrete experiences and practices wherever possible. IT-related queries are the bread and butter of the legal field today. Writing is like a muscle that needs to be worked. Different people can help with different things, as they have different strengths and areas of expertise. As always, it depends on the context. Subtlety can be underestimated at times. What tricky balance are you dealing with today? Yes, I see what you mean. Sometimes the task is to find one or two promising leads out of many communications. It is challenging to get the right balance with work sometimes. It is good to define some of those aspects. It is good to have a cutoff point. To take people with you or take people along for the ride, the latter is a bit more colloquial. Writing more concisely and in a targeted way is an excellent skill. It does seem like a tricky balancing act. Could it be helpful from an CO standpoint? Ask yourself who has the more privileged position there. Indeed, which projects could be most suitable this month? Paying attention to style, tone, register, natural and idiomatic collocations, and syntax will pay dividends in the long run. A bit of nuance can also be helpful, and working on being memorable can be quite valuable, too. Slogans and the overall content strategy are as important as a distinctive tone of voice and positioning. It is not a crucial point. I just thought I would mention it. Their power is immense. What represents a complex process or decision? I am attempting to revise my book now. A grammar rule in practice. Whether a hyphen is used depends on whether a compound comes before a noun. When it comes before a noun and acts as an adjective, you need a hyphen. It does not require one when it does not come before a noun. If you see this rule sometimes not implemented correctly in English texts, that is because English native speakers make mistakes with this now and again or leave out the hyphen out of convenience.